All right, how y'all doing? So today I want to do a fluid abstract landscape. I did this in a class the other day with a couple of girlfriends, some of my YouTube fans and followers, and I've become friends with them. And this was inspired by Chad Booth, who's in Florida. And I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he's in a lot of the acrylic pouring groups on Facebook. So I'm going to give him a shout out to Chad Booth. And he was the inspiration for this piece. And so I'm going to do another one because people asked to, for me to show how I did it. So I'm going to try again to kind of do, do what I did the other day and we'll see if this can be possible or not. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go ahead and start. My mixture is paint. One part paint, two parts Floetrol. So typically I do one part to one part, but this style I use two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And I made notes when I was teaching the class of how Chad did his and the way he layered his colors and all that. And this time I'm just going to wing it. So we will see what happens because I am not referring to notes this time. I want to show you the one I did the other day in the class though. Here it is. And I'm using the same paints. I had leftover paints, but it does dry a bit deeper. So I just want to make a note of that, that if you do this, don't be surprised the next day when your painting looks a little different because of the deepness of the color, which happens when it dries. So just wanted to make sure and bring that up. So I'm going to kind of try to do this one a little bit opposite of the one that I did the last time. I'm not going to, you know, kind of keep them the same. I'm going to try to vary it and almost have them be a mirror image, but it's not going to be because no two ever end up being alike. I'm going to throw in a little bit of purple here. And this is not the deep dioxazine purple. This is a much lighter purple. If you use dioxazine purple, it will dry almost black and you don't want that. I, I so forget what I did in class the other day. So this is just going to be purely fun and er experimental. They don't have to look alike. It's just abstract artwork. And they had like longer, uh, these are like for doing icing on cakes. This one is only maybe four or five inches. They had like ones that were twice as long, but this is the size of my tool. So I'm taking a very light pressure and moving the paint across the canvas. I'll go ahead and put a little orange here. Continue this pink across. And I'm trying not to mix my orange into my blues as much because I don't want to end up with mud. Take this across and make sure you swipe off your tool every time to make sure it's clean. Purple and orange will make mud too, so I'm going to be really careful here. And I don't think I have enough turquoise. I may have to mix up some more really quick. Didn't think about that. Now I'm going to add red in. I'm going to put on this side. I'm 
and a bunch of hot pink. Maybe a little orange down here. So I'm using quite a bit of paint. And I'm trying to avoid that happening right there where your paint goes over your palette knife. I'm trying to keep it where it's lifted up a bit on whatever leading edge I'm going over. I try to keep the edge up just a touch so that the paint doesn't come over the top of the knife. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to throw a little bit of pink in. Maybe just another little streak of turquoise. I don't want a lot. And then this is going to be the uh, the sunset. So and I'm making sure the paint goes over the edge of my canvas too. Now I'm going to bring in yellow into the equation. And a little bit of white. bit more yellow. And maybe just a bit more white. Maybe a touch of pink. Oh, and I have a violet color I totally forgot to use. I'll go back and put a little violet here. And maybe put a little up here in the blue area and we'll come back up to that in a minute. Oh yeah. So you need to make sure your tool is clean. And this is right here is not blended in, but I'm going to leave it because I like the hard edge and it'll dry differently anyway. But I am going to come over this and I'm going to squiggle it a little bit just to bring it through there. So I'm going to go back up to the top here. A little bit of this blue again. A little bit of turquoise. And then I've got some navyish blue. It's pretty deep. Just want to trickle a little bit. I don't want a lot of it.
don't like that right there. Let's see if I can get that over the edge. So now I want a little bit more of the deeper blue here again. Maybe a little bit more purple. A dribble of the violet. Just to give it some interest. I don't care for that. I'm going to go back with the blue. A little of the deep navy. Maybe a touch of hot pink. And this violet color. Try this one more time. See how it's trying to go over the edge of my, light, my knife, but I'm trying to lift it up so it doesn't. And if you need to tilt, you can, one way or the other. I think I'm just going to leave this so you get your knife on there and it gets lifts that paint off. So you have to be kind of careful. So if you put your finger in it, it lifts it out. that and stop. Okay, so there's my horizon. Oh, I did. I wanted to maybe stick a little bit of white right here in the center. Gotta make sure I have a clean palette knife. I'm gonna go from the center out. So yeah, it helps not to do it in streaks. So I'm going to do this again. I'm just going to put a puddle in. I'm going to put some yellow. A little bit of orange. And just a pop of that pink. Much better. I'm leaving that. So now I'm going to take my tape off. And this is my horizon line.
So now I'm going to go with the deepest color. And I'm just going to pour right up against that horizon line. And it doesn't matter if it's not even because it can be, it could be land uh, between the water and the sky. So I'm just going to do a little deeper blue, deeper blue. a good amount of this blue here. I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. This was the trickier part, was doing the water. And eventually I just ended up using my finger instead of the palette knife because I couldn't quite get the look I was trying to achieve. But we'll see what happens this time. So I want a little bit of this purple here. I want a hint of this violet. Not much. And I've got this turquoise color. I'm going to put it down towards the bottom and trickle it in. But this is the color I'm going to run out of. I've got, there's a clump right there at the bottom. Put in some white here in the center too, or at least this area for now. Maybe a little pink too. The good thing about something like this abstract is it's not realistic looking and you can make it what you want it to be. So I don't have I don't have a lot of paint right down here because of the the lack of turquoise color. But this is where I want to bring in my colors from my sky anyway. So I'm going to use, well, I'm going to just use it out of the cup. I'm going to put some yellow here in the center. Like I said, you don't want you don't want stripes. And I'm gonna put some orange in. beautiful violet color. And some red. So I wipe my knife off here. I try to go from the center out. And that's what you, the problem you have is the, the striped effect, which you don't really want. So 
that's not too bad. So this is where I'm going to start using my finger. And I'm just trickling in some white. And put a hint of yellow with the squeeze bottle. Maybe a touch of orange. And a little red. Try to use up what's left of this turquoise color. Chunks, chunks in my paint. So this is where I just started using my finger. Oh, I want to put some violet up here like I did before. And I'm just kind of, I put my finger in the paint. I can even put, put it in from it's laying on the table. Put in a touch of that red. So I'm barely touching the surface. Just very, very softly. Because if you push down too deep into the paint, it lifts through another color or whatever. So and then try to add a little turquoise into here, which just helps with the illusion of maybe the water a little bit. Put a little bit more turquoise right here. Maybe I bring in some turquoise from the sides. So you just kind of softly, gently rub your tip of your finger in and out. And that gives the illusion of the water kind of moving in and out. Go over this with the brighter blue again. Then you just kind of go back and forth. And I'm wiping my finger every time so it's clean. Got a few little tiny dots. Oop, put more in there than I took out. So you have to be careful with your splashes. Let's see, I'm just I'm gonna do just a very soft blending. I'm gonna put 
put a little purple in with my finger down here too because that purple is going to dry darker. The purple can even go in the deeper blue color. Trying to get this brighter blue back on here a little bit. Across the bottom of the canvas. And then I want some of this deeper blue. here and there. So that kind of looks deeper on the edges. Got my little palette knife. I'm going to see if I can use that just a bit. Just going to bring it to a point and not leave it flat the whole time because then it will push down into your paint colors. purple down here. And some of this violet. helps deepen that brighter blue as well. I'm going to come back with my deepest blue again.
I dropped a little chunk of something again. But I'm just going to take my palette knife and just kind of squiggle that in. I've got some little blue, sp I mean some little dots, but try to cover them up a bit. But I really want that to look like the whitish shimmering. Anyway. luck if I just use the tip of my palette knife and not the flat part in this area. So I think I'm done. There's not a sun in my painting. That's just a reflection up there. <laughs> or down there. So those are, let me turn those off so you don't see those. So here's my original that I did. And here's my other one. So they're similar, but you know, they're going to going to dry differently than this one anyway. So, um, and I could put a little bit more white here, but I think I'm just going to leave it to be. I like it fairly well. Um, the only thing I would do is add a little hot pink and red. Right through here. to decide if I want to leave this, but I think I am. It's not perfect, but I was trying to see what's under my canvas. This canvas is like super heavy. I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe put down blue again one more time.
Okay, I'm going to live with that. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to stay with it and not keep playing with it anymore. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check on the click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos. Stay in touch with me, find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, I have a list below the video, Amazon recommendations of all the products that I use plus some um, just so you have a wide variety of products you can pick from. and. Um, I have a membership. If you want to join, click the join button. It's $4.99 a month and I will do a live stream exclusively with members only. That is a one-time video that is just strictly for members, but I'll continue to load my free videos up every day for you that I typically do. So that does not change at all for everybody. So I thank you for following me and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.